a normal day in North Wales. It's cold, it's been raining a lot, um, overcast and misly. It's a normal day for climbing or mountaineering in North Wales. So today we're going to look at a really useful uh, knot or hitch, the clove hitch. Um, which uh, we can use for loads of things. Great for making anchors with. Uh, it's really adjustable, um, unlike a figure of eight on a bike, um, which once you've tied it, you can't adjust it um, so easily. Uh, whereas clove hitch is uh, fully adjustable and you can tighten it to just where you want it to be. Um, also use it for a lot of bush craft applications, uh, tying types of tripods, um, and lots of other things. So anyway, let's get out of the road. So what we're going to do first, make one loop, then we're going to make another loop, two loops now, and we're just going to pass the second loop behind the first loop, pop it into our carabiner, together, there's our clove hitch. Um, clove hitch needs to be in something to stay if it wasn't uh, if you don't put it in something or over something it falls apart let's do it again we'll make one loop the second loop we'll pass that one find that one and pop it into our carabiner and then if we want to we can adjust that as much as we like And you can see here what that should look like. I'll put a better picture up of that. So, this is your view of the clove hitch. We take our rope, we make one loop, and we make another loop, two loops, and we just pass one behind the other and clip the two loops. And as I say, it's easy to adjust more if you want to log on this end, just feed up through. And put it through. Do it one more time. Make one loop. Then we make a second loop and we pass this loop behind that loop. Pop it through or over or whoever we want to attach to. Clove hitch can also be tied around something like a bar tree if you can't get the, the loops over the ends so take the live end over or working end over get round make a cross bring the working end back and push it through there you need to have at least six inches over the end there because if you jerk it back if it's moving a lot it can come loose work its way over. Yeah. Take your working end round, bring it back, make a cross, bring it round and then push the working end or live end through there. 